Hello everyone, I'm Martin L. Nowis Jr., Assistant Professor from University of Eastern Philippines, Lawang Campus, Lawang Northern Summer. Allow me to present to you my study entitled Digital Literacy of Mathematics Teachers in State Universities and Colleges, or SOCS. Digital literacy is the ability to use information and communication technologies to find, understand, evaluate, create, and communicate digital information. It is the ability to require both cognitive and technical skills. According to Hanikat, today's students are digitally native, and if we are to reach them and teach them, we must provide active learning which integrates their goals. Individuals are more connected than ever before through social media such as Facebook, Twitter, and Skype, all of which require an understanding of how to use technology. According to Mono, digital tools have increased the teacher's integration into the teaching and learning process in mathematics. However, despite the increased emphasis on the use and integration of these tools within mathematics, its, its digital literacy is not well defined. The competencies with tools specific to mathematics would be a particular concern to educators, curriculum developers, and many other stakeholders within the field. This needs an investigation by assessing how students engage with digital tools that were often new and unfamiliar in order to solve mathematical problems and understand mathematical concepts. A statement of the problems. The first one, what is the digital profile of the state universities and colleges in terms of number of e-learning resources, network use in the campus, month rate, number of functional computer units in classroom and in the laboratory units, number of computer laboratories, number of computer technicians, number of license software, number of learning management systems, and number of information systems. Second, what is the status of digital literacy of mathematics teachers as perceived by mathematics teachers themselves, school administrators, and mathematics students in state universities and colleges in terms of the following? First, digital tools usage as to software use in mathematics teaching, social media, and mathematics application. Second, level of digital literacy awareness as to understanding digital practices, finding information, using information, creating information, digital rights and responsibilities, and barriers in utilizing digital technologies. Third, are there significant differences on the assessment among the three groups of respondents on digital literacy of mathematics teachers in state universities and colleges in terms of the following, digital tools usage and level of digital literacy awareness? Fourth, is there a significant relationship between the digital literacy of mathematics teachers and the digital profile of state universities and colleges. The design and methodology in the research design is descriptive. Research local, the state universities and colleges in region 8, Western Visayas. The respondents are the 10 SOCs, 42 mathematics teachers, 9 school administrators, 378 students, instrument is a question. The results. For problem number one, the SOOC's digital profile had an average of seven number of e-learning resources, use Globe as their network provider, 6.5 Mbps bandwidth, 5 computer units at their faculty rooms, 85 computer units at their computer laboratory, 4 computer laboratories, 3 computer technicians, 3 license software, 2 learning management system, and 3 number of information systems. A 
Another finding of the study is the digital literacy of mathematics teachers as assessed by the administrators, mathematics teachers themselves, and mathematics students. In terms of digital course using as a software used in mathematics, mathematics teachers sometimes use software. Findings are developed that in terms of the level of digital literacy awareness assessed by the administrators, mathematics teachers themselves, and their students, as to understanding digital practices, finding information, using information, and digital rights and responsibilities was much aware. In terms of creating information and barriers to utilizing digital technologies was aware. However, the overall results were much aware. Findings revealed that there were highly significant differences among the assessment of the respondents on the digital literacy of mathematics teachers in terms of digital tools usage as the software use and mathematics apps. On the other hand, social media had no significant difference in the assessment of the administrators, teachers themselves, and students. However, the overall result was highly significant. In terms of the level of digital literacy awareness as to understanding digital practices and barriers in utilizing digital technologies, this revealed highly significant in finding information, understanding information, creating information, and digital rights and responsibilities results not significant. However, the overall result was highly significant. Highly significant relationship was found out between the level of digital literacy awareness and the SOC's digital profile in terms of the number of learning management system and the number of information system, as well as in terms of the number of functional computer units in faculty room and the number of computer laboratories. Moreover, there was highly significant relationship between the level of digital literacy awareness and the SOC's profile as to the number of computer laboratories. For conclusion, the researcher concluded that most of the state universities and colleges had inadequate digital tools and technologies. Most likely, they give less importance on the e-learning resources for education to be facilitated and used by teachers and students. Utilize Globe as their, as their network provider because it is affordable and most convenient even for the, for the students. Moreover, the mathematics teacher would resort to providing and using personal gadgets instead of using computers in the faculty room and preparing for reports and other instructional materials and it would increase their digital tools usage and level of digital literacy awareness. However, the inadequacy of the number of computer units or computer laboratories could make a difference when these are easily reached or handled. Mathematics teachers would only use digital tools like software, social media, and mathematics applications in teaching mathematics because there are, these are the most available gadget in their respective schools. Mathematics teachers may not have the complete grasp of the importance of these digital tools aside from the limited or inadequacy of the tools. Mathematics teachers are not aware with some of the mathematics applications that could be, that could be used in teaching mathematics due to their limited knowledge. School administrators, mathematics teachers themselves, and students could not agree on their assessments of the digital tools used which implied that there were no tangible evidence of the integration of digital technologies in teaching mathematics. Moreover, the highly significant differences on the perception of the three groups of respondents on the level of digital literacy awareness could be due to the limited use and limited understanding on how to manipulate those tools as well as their importance to mathematics teaching. This implies that the more the mathematics teachers understand their use and advantage, the more that they would want to acquire and use them.
The TRACES respondents differed in their assessments of the digital literacy of mathematics teachers in state universities and colleges in terms of digital tools usage and level of digital literacy awareness. Mathematics teacher respondents rated themselves high in the usage of their digital tools. The other six respondents thought otherwise. In addition, other respondents are not aware whether the mathematics teachers will use a digital tools in mathematics since they do not have regular observation during the digital tools in the SOOC's profile in terms of number of learning management system and the number of information system had affected the digital tools usage of the mathematics teachers. It implies further that the higher the number of learning management system and the number of information system, the higher the awareness on the level of digital literacy, which could help mathematics teachers in their digital tools utilization. On the other hand, the number of functional computer units in the faculty room and number of computer laboratories could affect in a way the status of the digital literacy of mathematics teachers. There could be other factors which could influence the digital literacy of, math of mathematics teachers. My references